What's up guys? Welcome again to my channel. For today's video, I will show you the non-reports on board the ship. Non-report is a report prepared by the ship's chief engineer daily. Normally, it is sent to the company, owner, or charterer during noon. That's why it is called non-report. But sometimes, third assistant engineer or fourth engineer assigned to do the calculations or computation of the data needed for the non-report. And the chief engineer double check it before it sends to the master. And the master send it to the company. Here are the datas or lists we need to calculate. And here are the formulas. If you want to screenshot and save, do it. Now, let's start. First, we are going to solve the main engine RPM. RPM stands for revolution per minute. And the formula for the main engine RPM is... RC present minus RC previous divided by running hours in minutes. What is RC? RC means revolution counter. And the difference between the RC present and the RC previous is what we call total revolution counter. We can find or see the revolution counter reading at the engine control room monitor panel. Also, we need the running hours or the steaming time, usually 24 hours. But sometimes, ship's clock advance by 1 hour, meaning its running hours is 23 hours. But if retired by 1 hour, it is 25 hours. For the given data, we can now solve our main engine RPM. Grab the calculator and solve it. Since our running hours is in minutes, we need to multiply the 24 hours by 60 minutes. Our answer is 68.125 RPM. Next is the engine distance. There are two formulas for finding the engine distance. Since we don't know the engine speed yet, we are going to use the first formula, which is engine distance equals propeller pitch over 1852 times RC or the total revolution counter. Where we can find the propeller pitch? We can find it at the ship's manual or the ship's particular or at the sea trial. For the given data at the screen, our propeller pitch is 5.837 meters and our total revolution counter is 98,100. After substituting our given data to our engine distance formula, the answer is 309.18 and the unit is nautical miles. Now, let's go to the engine speed. Just like engine distance, there are two formulas also for finding the engine speed. For solving the first formula, first, we need to get the propeller constant. And here is the formula. Propeller constant is equals to the propeller pitch over 1852 times 60. We have already our propeller pitch value which is 5.837 and this 1852 and the 60 are constant meaning cannot change. After solving, our propeller constant is 0 0.189102 and now we can compute our engine speed by simply multiplying RPM to our propeller constant and if we use the second formula for finding our engine speed which is engine distance over running hours the answer is the same 12.88 knots
now, let's proceed for the computation of the slip percentage. And here is the formula. Slip equals engine distance minus observe distance divided by engine distance times 100. For the observed distance or the OG or observation by ground or the ship's distance, it is given by the bridge or the second officer. And to compute it, subtract the engine distance which is 309.18 to the observed distance which is the 283. Then, divide again to the engine distance and multiply by 100. And the result is 8.46755%. Sometimes, the slip is negative if the engine distance is less than to the observed distance. And if it is positive, the engine distance is greater than the observed distance. And now, let's go to the computation of the ROB or the remaining on board of the fuel oil, diesel oil, lubricating oil, and the fresh water. Also, the computation of the main engine power in kilowatt and main engine load percent. First, we need to compute our fuel oil consumption for main engine, generator engine, boiler to get our ROB for the fuel oil. The formula for the main engine fuel oil consumption is present flow meter minus previous flow meter over 1000 times corrected specific gravity. To solve this, first we need to calculate the corrected specific gravity. And this is the formula. Corrected specific gravity equals specific gravity at 15 degrees Celsius minus temperature 2 minus temperature 1 times the correction factor or the correction coefficient. And the given are specific gravity at 15 degrees Celsius which is 0 0.9200 where we can find it. We can see it at the fuel analysis report. And for the temperature too, it is a temperature of the fuel oil before the flow meter. For the temperature 1, it is constant. The 15 degrees Celsius means cannot change. And for the correction factor, you can find it at the correction coefficient per degree Celsius table. And it starts with the decimal and three zeros. Now, we are ready to substitute this given value to our corrected specific gravity formula. But first, just to remind that we need to follow the GIMDAS rule that we studied during our school years so that we can acquire the correct answer. And now, our corrected specific gravity is 0.8784. And for our flow meter reading, we can get it to the flow meter. And with this given value, now we can compute our main engine fuel oil consumption. If we subtract the present flow meter reading to the previous flow meter reading, the answer is in liters. And if we divide it at 1000, the answer is in cubic meter. And if we multiply it to the corrected specific gravity, which is the 0.8784, the answer is metric tons. And our answer is 19.28 metric tons. And that is our main engine fuel oil consumption. And the formula for the diesel generator and auxiliary boiler fuel oil consumption is the same. If your ship diesel generator flow meter have inlet and outlet flow meter, you can use this formula. 
and to solve the ROB or the fuel oil remaining on board, you need to subtract the previous ROB to today's main engine fuel oil consumption, generator, and boiler consumption. And for the cylinder oil consumption and the main engine and generator lobe oil or the system oil, here are the formula. For the diesel oil or the LSMGO or the low sulfur marine gas oil, it depends on the charter party agreement. And if your ship is passing to the SECA or ICA, the formula for finding the diesel oil consumption is the same for the fuel oil. For the fresh water produced, you need to get the present flow meter reading of the fresh water generator and subtract it to the previous flow meter reading. And for the fresh water ROB, you need to subtract the fresh water produced to the fresh water consumed. And lastly, let's proceed for the computation of the main engine power in kilowatt. And here is the formula and the given value where main engine fuel oil consumption is 19.28 metric tons running hours 24 hours low calorific value 42.04 megajoule per kilogram and this is we can see at the fuel analysis report the low calorific value constant, the 42.70 megajoules per kilogram, and this is constant, cannot change. And last, the specific fuel oil consumption, which is 168.6 gram per kilowatt hour. And this is, we can find at the C trial test result. And if we substitute the given value to our formula and calculate, the result is 4,691 kilowatt. And for the main engine load percentage, the formula is actual main engine power in kilowatt over maximum continuous output or the MCO at 100% times 100. Since our actual main engine power in kilowatt is 4,691 kilowatt and our ship MCO 100% is 7,950 kilowatt and if we multiply it to the 100, the result is 59%. And that's all for the computation of the non-reports. Nowadays, the non-report formulas already input in Microsoft Excel. But it is very important also that we know the manual computation. And here are the sum of the parameters that we need to report. The main engine exhaust gas temperature, the turbocharger RPM, the scavenging pressure and temperature, the seawater temperature and the engine room temperature, and the number of generator that we used, and its kilowatt. And to complete the non-reports daily, here are some of the datas from the deck officers. And that's all for today's video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe thank you so much for watching